If you were here already, welcome back. If you're catching this as a VOD later, welcome. In the first place, and thanks for watching. Um, so, we finished the four episodes of the main game. Cryptic Passage is the first of two official expansions. They are both considered part of canon. This was not developed in-house by Monolith, whereas the second expansion, uh, Postmortem, was, and that appears in the main list of episodes in Blood Fresh Supply. Um, but this one is architected as an add-on. Uh, because it was developed by a third party, it's, it's not, like, integrated into the game fully. Uh, but it is included in Fresh Supply. Uh, you can get to it under Options and then Add-ons. <laughs> okay, I mean, if as long as you've been working on it gradually over the course of a month, that seems fine. Uh, yeah, so let's get into this. I already reset the timer. We took about, uh, what was it, 17 and a half hours, I believe, for the original episodes. Um, Cryptic Passage and Postmortem are each architected as a single episode apiece. I think they have around, I think this one might be 10 maps and the other might be 9. Um, also, I have absolutely no idea where the secret exits are, and maybe I should, hmm. Maybe I should look that up just to save myself a little bit of trouble, because, like... I have been trying to find the secret exits just to make things interesting. Ah, uh, does this have... Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. Uh... Okay, it looks like the secret level takes place after map 6. So, I might not get there tonight, we'll see. See what happens. Uh, but yeah, let me... That's all I want to know, that's the only thing I want spoiled for me, is which map has the secret exit, so that I know where to focus my efforts. And not worry that I'm just completely missing it. Uh, alright, let's tone down the music again. Where's my mouse? There it is. Uh, did I even mute the game this time, or did I just... Nope, I didn't mute the game, because it was already silent anyway. Okay. Curtic Passage. Uh, gonna go with Lightly Broiled again, like we've been doing for everything so far. Uh, let me get ready to start the timer. Hang on. Yeah, no, you should definitely not try to eat four pounds of nuggets in a single day. I would not recommend that. I mean, I feel like even one pound in a single day would be, mu uh, too much. Um... Alright. Let's start... That's not the correct time. Hang on. Okay, I still need to work out some kinks in that script. Uh, this looks very, very much like part of episode one. Alright, I probably don't want to fall into the water. Also, I should probably save. Saving there is maybe unnecessary, because this is the beginning of the episode. Alright, let's see what happens if we fall in the water. Oh, actually. Falling in the water was actually a good thing. There's more dynamite down there. Also, I really have not been using, like, proximity or remote detonators at all. Hmm, there's something down there. Oh, that might actually be where we're going. That, yep, that's a fish. You can actually dispatch fish with the pitchfork. Okay, so we could go that way. There is a gun there. So let's grab that, but let's see what's down here. This is the carnival music or something. Can I go down there? Oh. Thank you. This is probably a bad idea. That's a fish. He's already dead. Okay. That's armor. Uh, I was wondering why that didn't show up in my inventory. That was weird. 
So what I like to do is extend the duration of this, because it keeps turning itself back on, but as long as it keeps doing that, it prevents me from suffocating. Oh, just a random heart here? That's weird. Yeah, no, the, the fish sounds in this, the fish... <laughs> When the fish get alerted, they sound like crickets to me. And when you kill them, they sound like eagles. So I don't- it does not make any sense to me. The fish is everything except the fish. Players? Okay, how did I get in here? Help? <laughs> Hang on, let me get out of here again and get my bearings. Also, why is there like an alcove or something? Also, wait, where am I? It makes it seem like there should be a way out of here, but there isn't. This is the alcove. That's... that looks suspicious. I don't know. Okay, seriously though, there's the opening. It's really hard to see that. Oh, that's what I was worried about. Okay. I'm gonna get back out here. Okay, we got a whole bunch of stuff. We still got half of our scuba gear. Let's actually go in the main way now. Also some more TNT over here. Okay. I have shotgun shells, but I don't have the shotgun yet. I have 33 flares, so that should help. Can I destroy these? I don't like the sound of hit scanners when I have no weapons to deal with them. Kind of starting out like episode one. It's interesting that they're leaving life essence in random places. Like, that feels like they're trying to account for the fact that the game really drops it randomly. Which was, like, the whole random life and ammo drop thing was something that I kind of took issue with early on. I still think that sounds like Yoroshiku, and it seems really funny for him to say that and then run away. Did he try to blow me up? Okay, well we got this. That did nothing. Can we not destroy this barrel? We can definitely destroy this barrel. It didn't do anything. Okay. I just wasted a lot to destroy that and have it not do anything. I assume that one's also not going to do anything. Oh, jeez. That hit him. That didn't hit him. That hit him. 
you also hit me. Okay. Rats and their ridiculously long hurt boxes. Uh. I've been down there. I think that's where the barrel I exploded that didn't do anything once. There's a creaky floorboard right here. I don't know if that's actually a cue for anything. I still think this is a weird choice of music. Like, it worked for the carnival, but that was basically it. I forget if it was the carnival or some other map around that, but it was around that point in the game. It was in episode one. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay. How did that not hit? Oh shit. What is this? Excuse me. How was that guy hitting me, not the zombie? Hello, we have the game's the the expansion's first machine gun guy. Okay, where did I even save? Basically at the beginning. So we're doing a whole bunch of that shit over. Yeah, this very much reminds me of episode one and how rough that was. Especially not having the shotgun. I mean, I do have the machine gun. Or I picked it up- no, I picked it up somewhere. I picked it up when we got to the first... ...locked door, I think. I heard a thing. Hang on, I need to blow up a zombie first. Okay, here we go. What did I just hear? I need to go back to my dashboard because Twitch's doesn't work. Hey Mike, how you doing? Thanks to the host. We just finished, um the main four episodes of the original release of Blood, and we're on to... This is the first map. This is basically the beginning of Cryptic Passage, which is the first add-on. Blood had two add-ons. Cryptic Passage was developed by a third party, and Postmortem was the episode included in Plasma Pack, which was developed by Monolith. Oh, there's a guy over there. That's who tried to blow me up last time. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> okay. It wasn't the usual, it burns, it was duh, duh, duh. <clears throat> wasn't that a song in the 90s or something? Duh, duh, duh. Okay, wait, there's multiple ways to go here. This is, okay. This is where that is. And yeah, I was up there before, okay. I know that blowing up that barrel does not do anything useful. Long day of gaming, what have you been playing? I, uh, I didn't get much done today. Uh, I had a weird morning because, um, <laughs> I've probably complained about landscaping in this area before, but like, so first, I have a neighbor who sometimes blasts music so loud that it vibrates the entire half of this house that my bedroom is in. Um, so that happened at 8 a.m. So I was like, well, I'm not sleeping for the moment. Um, and then at 9 a.m., landscaper noises on a Saturday. Like, <laughs> I swear to God, like, I feel like six out of seven days of the week or five out of seven days of the week, there are landscapers landscaping things somewhere in this two-block radius. 
Um, on weekdays it starts at 7.30 in the morning. On Saturdays it starts at 9 in the morning. It's like, when am I supposed to actually catch up on sleep? <laughs> it's just like, sleeping's not allowed. Um, but yeah, I have some dumb neighbors. Oh, you've been playing Destiny 2, okay. Do you have, like, the, uh, the DLC and stuff? Because I kind of remember hearing it's a lot better with the DLC. Because, like, they made the main game free. But I never got into it. Like, I kind of saw it as, like, well, this kind of feels like Borderlands except taken more seriously or something. But I don't know. I, I got, I heard such mixed things about Destiny 2, and also I wouldn't be into, like, the raids at all. So I never really got into it. But yeah, so this morning I woke up at 8 and basically was up until like 10.30 and then managed to sleep for another three hours. Where's the rats? There they are. This is not going well. Okay, we got the rats. And this is where this was. This has ammo and stuff. Okay, let me save. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I at least got a decent amount of sleep based on what... I, I didn't fall asleep until super late last night. Um... I th but between the two bouts of sleep, the two separate bouts of sleep that I had, I got an okay amount, but I would like to sleep more tomorrow. I have a lot of flares, I should use them. Shit. I should reload. Uh, I do have this, but I only have 50 bullets for it, so I kind of want to save that for when I absolutely need it. That didn't hit him, did it? That did. Yeah, I kind of need my brain cells to work tomorrow, because I kind of need to prepare for something next week. Like, I tried to do some of the preparations today, but I really didn't get anywhere with it. My brain got kind of derailed by other stuff. Okay, save. I'm pretty sure there's another dude in there. Oh, that's a zombie. Okay. Pretty sure there's another dude behind the zombie. Yeah, there is. Also, I don't know where that flare went. Okay, you're definitely dead. I can deal with these guys if they would stop just wiggle tronning by the bridge here. They have no idea what to do with this bridge. Okay. What is what happens if I fall from off, off of this bridge? Where does this put me? Oh. Uh... Whoops. Yeah, okay, I know where that is. That doesn't... That, that, that does not get me anywhere useful. Uh, there's a lot of things there. Hang on. First of all... Deal with that guy. <laughs> I don't know what just happened there, but okay. <laughs> okay, there's health there. Thanks, yeah, you have a good night too. I hope you do manage to catch up on sleep. Yeah, well, I mean, the rat's hitbox- the rat's hurtboxes have always been more questionable in their hitboxes, but what I like is, like, the rat 
didn't even know where it needed to be. It was like, will this work? No, let's go forward. Will this work? No, let's get closer. Will this work? Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that didn't make any sense. Also, I'm a little weirded out right now because Twitch is telling me I've added one stream marker, but I've definitely added more than one stream marker, but I'm not sure that button has ever worked in the entire lifespan of the new dashboard, which, you know, it's been around a while, but it's always kind of glitched out on that button. It, it works, but it doesn't look like it works. It, like, cites some completely bogus timestamp that makes no sense when you hit it. It's like, okay, I dropped a marker at 44,500 minutes or in or something. And I'm like, hmm, no. <laughs> you did not do that. Uh, I actually, I think I still have to catch up on clipping. Uh, I think I'm like two, hi two highlights behind on the clips for this game. There have been a lot of potential clip moments. And I've been trying to capture a bunch of them. I don't really know, like, I feel like I would like to do a best of 2020 hindsight at the end of the year or something, but that depends on how much time and effort I have to put in it. But I have been trying to clip religiously to be able to, what the f, where are you guys? Okay. But yeah, but- oh, where did they come out of, though? Huh. I've been trying to clip religiously so that I would have moments to look back on from it. You have a stupid question you've been meaning to ask blood-related. Okay. I don't know if I'll know the answer, but we can try. Alright, so now I can open this. Uh, I just took a chunk of damage, though. There's a heart over here, let me go get it. Bats. Bats never seem to actually hurt you, so... Come out, come out, wherever you are. Or don't. The main story, you saw several tables with buzz saws on them. Do they actually hurt you? Uh, I'm assuming they do. I don't think I wanted to find out. I don't remember if I did find out early in episode one. Also, this room is very dark. Another Tommy gun. Tommy gun ammo. I'm okay with that. Another heart. Okay, and that's where we came in. So, I guess we're going this way. At least they're giving us ammo for something. I wish one of them would drop a shotgun, though. Well, we've reached civilization. We have our first wall outlet. Really? Hello. Victims, aren't we all? Wow, okay. I always forget to use the voodoo doll. We, uh, might have reason to use it in this episode, given that we... ...don't have a ton of other resources yet. Great, he gave us shotgun ammo, but not a shotgun. I know what that guy is. That didn't hit him. I don't know if the second one hit him either. 
or the third one. Okay. Good thing we have a lot of flares. Okay, I'll take it. And there's health right over there. I appreciate that they came one at a time. was a noise. Sure, I always refrigerate my TNT. It keeps it fresh longer. More shells. Where's the shotgun? <laughs> Alright, I'm curious, so we're gonna do something regrettable. Okay, that didn't actually do anything, did it? Okay, there's a door there. Door there. Door there. That's where we got the armor. Okay, these doors apparently go to different places. I can't open this. Okay. Huh. Well, that's weird. Okay, what about I this? need a key. Well, oh, that needs the dagger key. Really wondering about this door that I can't open. What is up with that? Figure something's gotta open that. Where else haven't I been? Oh, that opens the other door. And I gotta go do it again. Gotta love switches that nearly blend into the wall. And now we live here. More shotgun shells. Blood beer. I don't know that we saw that graphic in the original game. <laughs> more voodoo. And also more shotgun shells I can't use. And also health that I probably didn't need. And also we just kicked the bucket. Well, crap. Oh, hi. What the f- Where did all of you come from? There's a key in there. Well, that's the key we need. That opens something else. And there's a new guy. Yeah, I'm gonna need to do that again. I heard that. Where are you? Drop your gun, dude. Why? <laughs> These guys are using perfectly functional shotguns. But no, I can't use it when they die.
Like, I'm really wondering if I missed the shotgun somewhere. Because they've been giving me shells all over the damn place. Okay, well, we can go through this door now. Thanks for punishing me for looking the wrong way first. Oh, we can set things on fire now. Well, that's an improvement. Whoops, well, there goes that tree. Tesla ammo? Now I really feel like I'm missing something. Have I been out here? Mm, no. Something about this map feels almost Hexen-esque. Hello, that was a nice ambush. Fortunately, didn't work. Imbo. Which doesn't really matter, given that I'm not using a gun right now. Alright, before we go through that, let's go check out that other door. Once I remember where the heck it was. Also, there's something back here? No, there's not. Okay. Wait. Oh! Okay, that connects back to here. So that was not important. I've got two guns. That should be enough for all of them. I couldn't move right, but I couldn't react quick enough to get the heck out of the way. <laughs> well, bye. <laughs> and and now, okay, so I just went from getting a Hexen vibe to getting a Doom, like, E3M2 vibe or something. Which is appropriate enough since we were listening to a remix of E3M2 before I started this. Uh, shark? Oh, there's a guy on top. I don't think I'm hitting him. How do I get up there? Oh, that was unfortunate. That doesn't want to open. I need to remember we're looking for a moon key eventually. Oh, damn it. He should be dead. Don't like where my health is at.
What the fuck? That's glitchy. There's not supposed to be a wall there, but it's sometimes painting a wall there. Okay, the other dude's up there. We did just get some health. He tried. How do I get up there? There's some weird sound glitching going on here. Actually, I can't push the barrel, but I can jump on it. Maybe. Oh boy, don't fall off. Come on, there's gotta be something in here. There's a switch on the front of it. I have no idea what that did. Also, that's the third voodoo doll I found, and I have max shells and no shotgun. Oh, jeez. Shotgunner. We finally got a shotgun. I'm saving. Good grief. I don't even need those shells. Jeez, I wasn't even surprised, but I got hit by them anyway. Now we've suddenly got ammo options. Oh, that's not who I wanted to hit, but okay. Where'd the zombie go? I know there's another one. Health is good. Okay, this is open now. It's probably where they came out of. There's the moon key. Also a switch. Oh, that sucked. That just closed the door? That just closed the door. Okay. Oh, did that switch at the top open this door? Maybe. Alright. I feel like my health isn't great, but... Okay, seriously, how are ladders supposed to work? I think they're not. I think they're there for show. Uh... Where did we need to use the moon key? <laughs> I forgot. Oh, hey, more ammo. Good. We've got almost full flares. We've got full shotgun. Uh, is that where I want to be going? Yeah, I think so. Dude! When was the last time I saved? Okay. That's fine. Given how many flares I have, I should really just be using flares on these guys. <clears throat> Whoops. Meant to hit that button. Failed to hit that button. Now we actually have full flares. Oh wait, no. We have one less than full. I 
Where's the shotgun? You piece of shit! Jeez, there goes half my health or something. I just killed some bats or something. Okay, he'll be gone. More ammo, though. Alright. My health is rubbish. I do have a med kit. Okay. Given that I have a med kit, I'll save here. I also have almost full machine gun ammo. Okay, where was he? For a second, I wasn't sure if that was a fire doggo or something. Wait, there was a heart in what hole? How far back are we talking? Oh, in here. How much dynamite do we have? A decent amount. Yeah, that did something. Oh, wow. This is way earlier in the level. Okay. I don't think that helps me, really. more hearts. That is a lot of ammo that it's giving me. Why? What on earth is it going to throw at me at the end of the first level? Also, how do I get out of here? Uh-oh. I might have to find out how to ladder. Because I swear laddering... It doesn't work, and I'm not sure if it's intended to work. Like, I don't think there are climb up and down bindings. Let me see. I mean, there's swim up and down bindings. Based on this room, it seems like ladders are intended to function. I'm not sure they do, though. Yeah, so I think that soft locks me, unless I can figure out how ladders work. So, as much as I'd like some of that ammo, I think I'm going to pass on it. That door doesn't work. Is there a switch down there, too? Like, this also doesn't do anything. I don't know what you're supposed to do down here. Unless... Wait a minute. Nope. Oh, there's a freaking thing right there. Okay. Wait, why are you not dead? How did he survive that? Oh, there's the end of the level.
Oh, that definitely looks like something. This might give us a way back. Technically, yeah, it probably does. Did we ever actually... ...go across that bridge? We must have. Oh, yeah, right at the very beginning we did. So that connects to the beginning of the level. Okay. If we really wanted to go back through, we could. Alright, well, let's save. First level took us over 40 minutes. And there's... 9 or 10 levels in this? This could take a while. I'm hoping that... Um... I'm hoping that between this weekend and next weekend we can finish off the expansions to this. I think we should have a decent chance of doing that. Uh, and that would leave exactly Halloween open for doing something else that I have never played and should play. And I think would be really good for Halloween. And I don't, in I don't expect to finish it in one night, so I would continue it into November. But because I'm looking at doing that at the end of the month, that's, that's particularly why I'm not necessarily expecting to manage to fit in Death Wish, given that Death Wish is three entire episodes. Like, it definitely... I am sure it is worth all the hype that it gets, and that's why I want to play it eventually. I just don't know when. Alright. Old Opera House. Oh, look. What's the first thing this stage gives us? The shotgun. Well, and now I don't even need it, because I have it, and I have all the ammo. Um... Well, I will say map one was interesting. So, I have... I hopes for this expansion. Dime made it sound like... the expansion doesn't hold up to the original game. We'll have to see. Well, I mean, he, he said it's not as good as the original game, I guess, but... I like the scenery here. Where is the hit scanner that I heard? Okay, and he dropped another shotgun. There's another one. There's potentially... Ow. Ah, crap. I'm in a bad place. He didn't attack me. They totally could have taken a big chunk out of me there. That is an interesting poster. What else is down here, though? Oh shit, I didn't realize that got all the way out here. He didn't hit me. So, there's something all the way down there that requires the moon key. That's not a real door. Yeah. 
I'm learning to check behind doors because enemies like to be there. Okay, that didn't do anything. Okay, I guess we should go in here and... Ow. I can't see him because he's dark and the hallway is dark. Oh shit, this is bad. the other guy. I don't know where he went. This feels reminiscent. Feels reminiscent of uh, Duke Nukem 3D's first level. But also, I guess... Pretty sure there was a segment of uh, E1 that was kind of like this too. So I'm gonna probably die. Like, I've been kind of sloppy, so I kind of want to reload in that case. Oh, this is neat. I was supposed to go through there, but I jumped across instead. Hey, he gave me health. Alright, I'm gonna save. It's probably a dumb idea, but I'm going to save. Alright, actually, I'm glad I saved. Bad shooting there. Wait, what? Moon key! Oh, well, that's a secret. With rats in it. I don't think they can make it up here. There's one left. Wow. What a champion. Okay, this looks like a good secret. This is gonna bail me out. Oh wow, it had armor and a life seed. Wait, did I just... So I threw dynamite down here. Did that actually just blow that hole in the wall? So that certainly wasn't there before, otherwise I would have found that. Uh, but yeah, moon key. We need that down here. guy is having a problem. <laughs> that guy was completely boxed in and didn't know what to do about it. I guess I should see if this does anything. That was his blood that I saw. Figured one of those had to be a secret. I don't even need that right now. I should have used the one I had before I used the life seed. Uh, actually. Oh, it also had invisibility. That's what that was. Okay. I just wanted to go in there to make sure it counted it as finding a secret or something.
that did. Please don't accidentally hit the... Okay, the invisibility is up. I didn't want to accidentally hit one of the barrels. Because I have found out... Oh. That's a little silly. Uh, I have found out the hard way. <laughs> I actually have a clip of it. What happens if you fork a barrel? Uh, I'm gonna save. Because there's a bunch of head scanners out there. Oops. Okay. Why is there a big hole in the stage? It doesn't seem good. I don't think I... Who is doing that? Where is he? I don't know where he was. There's another key down here. Naturally, it's the spider key where there's a lot of spiders. Okay, I completely botched this section, but let's see. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm dead. I guess I'll use this to keep myself alive. this one. This is considered a secret? <laughs> Seems like a pretty obvious secret. Also, I'm out of health now. Where did this put me? Oh, back here. Uh, okay. Uh, if you were here for the beginning of episode two, which would have been the middle of the second stream of this, then you were here for that. Uh, I'm trying to remember... I remember finding a medkit before but already being full, and I think that was in the first level, not this one. I just feel like all the stuff I just did was not useful, but actually, I got a key out of it, technically. So, I guess I'll save. But yeah, it was at a point where I was trying to save ammo. He was gonna throw dynamite. Um, okay. <laughs> he died anyway. I guess that's fine. My intent was to set him on fire, but instead he fell to his death. At least I'm a- Oh, that's the guy who was shooting me before. Okay. What the heck? That was the head kicking sound, but I didn't kick anything. Oh. Shit. This is how I was supposed to get down here before. Wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. No, I guess that does make sense. That's how I was supposed to get down here. I was not supposed to fall and lose my health and have a really bad time. 
And this was the spider key door. Oh, right, and then I needed to find the dagger key, and I still haven't found that. Okay. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Alright, look, I've heard of hiding enemies behind doors, but now you're hiding keys behind doors. And that seems a little bit rude. Or I should say a little bit more rude than hiding enemies behind doors. Also... Oh, whoops. Also, I was gonna say... Oh, shit. I didn't save after all that. Um... I was gonna say, now my marker counting is working. So I don't know why it wasn't before. Oh, he's running. He knows what's coming this time. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, I mean, it was... What stream? We're on part six now, so it was like four streams ago. Not including this one. Uh, okay, so that is in here. Let's save before going through that door this time. You know, usual strats of saving before going through key doors. Can't believe I didn't do that. He's not dead. What the... <laughs> okay. There's apparently water in this room. He's not dead. What the hell was that noise? He's not dead, but he is sploosh. Or someone is sploosh. Maybe not him. Oh no, it was probably him. Okay. This is very flickery... Very flickery lights in this room. I just got stuck. That's not a good prize. I also can't see a damn thing down here. Basically out of scuba gear now. I'm also almost dead. That could have been bad. Gotta love the immediate reaction time that they have. Fire key. I don't have that yet. And that doesn't do me any favors either. And I also don't have... Oh, okay, I got some life essence there. Alright, so we're out of, out of scuba gear now. Out of scuba gear right when I might need it. How the hell did I get in here? And why? where am I hearing fish? That fish was having a problem. Okay, this is where I came from. Yeah. I can jump over here. Is that how that was supposed to work? Okay. 
Well, I sequence broke it. Yes, they are telling me that I should dynamite these. That was a loud boom. I was hoping I would get more than one of them. Don't know if that hit him. It didn't. Okay, what am I really getting in here? That's it. No. No key. Or anything. Was that... I wonder if that was considered a secret. I don't know. a hole? It is. I really wish I still had my scuba gear now. It's already dark in here, the last thing I need. Alright, I'm gonna load these guys out. Or I'll try to. Where the hell did he go? There's the key. Uh, and I'm starting to choke because I can't see my way out of here. There we go. Also, when did I picked up a life seed somewhere? Okay, we did it, and we got out without choking too much. I'm pretty sure I didn't have 143 health before, though. Uh, where did I need to, <laughs> where did I need to use that key? Uh, oh, hey, look, more health. Um, <laughs> oh, boy. It was, wasn't it through, no, it couldn't have been through here. This was a secret. It might have been before that elevator that took me down. I totally don't remember. Uh... Okay, that's the elevator that took me down. Uh... What the... How did he not kill himself? Wow, dude. Oh, look, more scuba gear. Well, could have used that before. Oops. I can't destroy these? Wow, they upgraded the mirrors in this expansion. They're indestructible now. Okay, uh, I don't, I don't think I want to go there again. Wasn't there somewhere else? Nope. No, now we're way too far back. I don't know, maybe it was... Actually, yeah, wasn't there a sequence of two elevators? Let's try this again. Also nothing. This was the second elevator. Mime is looking a bit sus. <laughs> no, I already shot him on accident before. He wasn't holding anything, so... I've, I've seen the door that I need to go through, and now I'm just struggling to remember where the heck it was. I remember it being at the top of a staircase or something. Wait a minute. No, this is here again. Pretty sure it wasn't in here. 
This was just that. Forgetting where this spits me at. Before the whole elevator sequence, right? Uh I think my brain is losing it. Going in here is not necessary. It's not back here. There's there's nothing there. Where the heck was the other place that I went before I went up this elevator? Well, I mean, I did fall down that hole before, but that brings me to where that stuff is anyway. Uh, I really wish the map would mark key doors. That would be really useful. Doom's map does that. Uh, that might be something. How did I get there? <laughs> Where the heck is that? That elevator seems a bit dysfunctional. Okay, so where am I going now? Over here? I don't actually know if that's where I'm supposed to be going, but... It's one part of the map that doesn't look explored, so... Wasn't the dagger key, like, right here? What is the deal with that part of the map? I know it's not in here, but I'm kind of curious right now. Oh, is it just the staircase? Yeah, it's that staircase, okay. And I know that the fire key door was at the end of another staircase, and that could be what this is. Okay, well, let's go back here again. One of these days, I am going to kill myself by falling off of this. is through here. Or is it? Oh yeah, it's, it's through this section, I guess. Or is it? just where I started. I can't believe I'm drawing a blank on a place that I've been, like, not too long ago. And the problem is... Oh, yeah, I remember... Where was that? Oh, 
Like, I'm seeing the two boxes on the map that that guy was trapped behind, but, like, where the heck was that? That's on a different vertical level than where I am now. That's part of my confusion here. <laughs> So the map does not relay vertical information particularly well. But like, didn't I find... I'm pretty sure I found the uh, fire key door before I even came into this area at all. Oh, here it is. Nope, I guess I didn't find it before coming into this area at all. Uh, I feel like this isn't... I feel like this isn't the fire key door I remember finding, but it's the fire key door, so... And there's the exit. I don't know if there actually was another one or not. That's kind of a neat way to orchestrate the exit here, by having a door behind this sort of, like, plaque-type thing. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> After I spent entirely too much time remembering where that door was, if that was even, in fact, the door I was remembering, I think it was. Man, my, sometimes my brain just immediately scrambles itself, and it's kind of infuriating. Alright, this is Gothic Library. I'm looking forward to this one. This looks cool. Oh, I didn't save at the end of that level. I mean, I don't think I'll need to for any reason. I got in the habit of doing that, and I don't really think I need to anymore. I've never really made use of that, and I forgot to do it again, so yeah, heck with it. Uh... I know where the secret exit is, it's on map 6. That was the real reason that I started saving at the end of every level, was in case I missed the secret exit or something. Okay, well we immediately got shotgun ammo. wonder what they have planned for this if they're giving us all sorts of ammo out here. This feels like you could fit through there again. Now, for being developed by a third party, I will say they, at the very least, kept the design principle of each map ending where the next one begins. Where you can, like, still see... you can see the beginning of the next map from the end of the last one, and vice versa. So, like, I feel like... I don't know. I'm not analyzing these maps super hard, but they feel like they're done pretty well in the spirit of the original. Is that supposed to be... I wonder if that's supposed to be a stained glass of the god that we fought in E4. I wonder why they put this heart here. Oh. Okay, well that was terrible. I just lost like 30 health. I'm just gonna leave. Oh jeez! Go through that. There we go. Whoa, did that kill him? Cool. Whenever they lie down, it feels like it takes way longer. Or more shots to kill them. Okay, there's more health over there. That'll help. Oops. Well, if I didn't kill them, he would. And I'm almost dead. There's a fire key door. One of these has to be fake. 
None of them are fake. Ones in the corners could totally be hiding something. Oh, or that could be fake. What the heck? Oh, well, I would have liked to have had that before. Okay. Time to find somewhere to go ham. That's where we came in. That's a good place to go ham. Um, that guy was having problems. Okay, that's it. Well, I know there's health, so I'll save, whatever. Stuck. <laughs> hey, manager, your door is stuck. I'd like to speak to you. Oh, there was invisibility I here, need too. A key. You might not want to pick that up right now. Where was that? <laughs> Where did I just trip over the invisibility at? Isn't that somewhere over here? I don't know, I'm not gonna worry about it because I don't really need it right now. Uh, I still don't have any keys. Okay, there's our health. Hang on a second. That's facing left. And that's also facing left. I'm disappointed. That's not realistic. Okay, does that need the eye key? Okay. Eye key and moon key. Uh, it's stuck. And manager key. <laughs> Except not. Uh, there's stuff up there. I do not have boots. like he would need boots to get up there. Okay. Uh, where the hell can I go, then? That's interesting. Can't jump into that window sill, but I can jump into this one. That's one of you. Jeez, I was like, wait a minute. Okay, fire key, moon key, eye key, and I don't have any. Where the hell else can I go? There's something else over there? That reads like there's something else in the library. I guess I could try dynamite on that door. <laughs> Didn't really occur to me. Usually when there's something like that, there's like barrels or something. Yep, no. Manager door is dynamite proof. Probably tells you what kind of a workplace it is. Uh, there has to be a switch or something that opens it. Meanwhile, okay, that's inside of the... It's it's kind of ridiculous how it shows you what's inside of doors that you can't even go through. 
I wish it wouldn't do that so it would be easier for me to tell what I haven't gone through. Uh, where was I seeing stuff before? Okay, on the other side. Hmm. Oh, that's through the... Yeah, okay, that's through the eye key door that I can't go through. Is there anything else for me to do out here? Probably not. Well, I must have missed something. Manager is definitely... <laughs> yeah. I need a key. Yep. Okay, you know what we haven't tried doing? He didn't drop a key. Okay. There was that one map in the main campaign where we had to kill the one innocent because he was holding a key. <clears throat> had to rule out that he was the manager. It could very well be that there is a switch for this door that I haven't found. Sometimes switches are well hidden. Also, this place is pretty damn dark. see anything. Oh, hey, look at that. It's a switch. Guess I'll save. Yeah, the bookshelf- the wall bookshelves, specifically, had a switch in between them. I was looking in all the dark places and not the bright ones. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy! There's a lot of them. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! Alright. Uh, we're gonna see if we can find a good- an opportune place for a good stick of dynamite. Got him. Yeah, all those guys only wake up when I get the key. Alright, so hang on. How do we get out of here? Let's figure that out first. Oh, okay. Well, that almost worked, except the door closed too fast. Hey, what? Oh, they don't spawn when you pick up the key. There's a floor trigger near the key. Cause I, I was gonna double back because I forgot to hit the switch. Alright, where is the key? Back there. There we go. That's all you gotta do. And only one zombie came out. And that was the key for this door. Oh, is that where I picked that up? Okay, that'll work. Sure, there are other...
other guys in here. Well. Oh, hello. Oh, that was a secret with health. Okay. Those have a lot of health up there. And there's one overturned bookcase. What is the point of this room? Tome, huh? Hang on. Let me get a better look at that. I saw another book lying on the floor here. Oh, that's not a book. No, it is a book, but it doesn't it's not a tome though. Okay, so where does the tome go? <laughs> I'm assuming I mean the original place we saw tomes. Yeah, when the voice clips attack, they do get loud. <laughs> and also the protag the protagonist's voice clips are loud for some reason. And there's no separate slider for voices or anything, so I can't do much about it without making the game audio stupidly quiet. The, if there's one thing for me to find fault with in this game, it's audio balance, because, like, I mean, even with the music, now the music is super quiet, but, like, some of the other music was super loud, so I had turned it down again. Like, I could probably stand to turn it up again now. So... There's got to be something else in here. I'm suspicious about these seats here. Actually, can I jump on top from there? I can. Oh, whoops. Oops. We'll just go this way. Really? I don't think there's any reason for me to go up here right now? Okay, jumping is apparently the wrong play. Okay, so is there anywhere obvious to use this tome? Tome? Nope. Sound card with eight voices. Yeah, right. Don't gotta worry about those uh, technical limitations anymore. Although even then it probably would have been an issue. <laughs> like, I don't know. Even when it's just two guys alive, if they both get fixated on something, they tend to overlap. I wonder if I have to go back in that room with all the zombies. I'm, I'm worried we may be facing conveyance issues in E1M3 <laughs> on this expansion. Because there was that one well-hidden switch. And now I need to figure out what to do with this. There were more bookshelves up here, let me see. Like, I'm assuming I need to use it somewhere, but... I actually don't know. I actually don't know if it's just a matter of finding a bunch of tomes like it was for the secret exit in E2 of the original. Uh, I had another thought, and now I forgot it. Oh, right, the zombie room. Okay, let's do that again, I guess. Because I can. Let's do that again without blowing myself up. If they're going to come out single file, then I'm better off with this. Alright, where's the other, like, six of you? Oh, there you are. Come on, I see you. This door is very annoying.
Whoops. Figured that was gonna happen. That's a lot of them. That didn't land <laughs> nearly soon enough. Okay, I think we got them all. Was there any point to coming in here? This level is also very dark. A lot of places. Like, here I am going around just assuming that the tome has to be used in a bookshelf somewhere. There's way too many bookshelves in here. There's got to be something way more obvious than this. What about near the manager door? Oh. That's not telling me it's... Uh, it's stuck. Never mind, it is. I was going to say it wasn't telling me it's stuck anymore. Okay, so... I don't know whether I'm missing something obvious or not obvious, but... I did have high hopes for this add-on, but it's uh, <laughs> getting a little weaker now. Because I'm spending a lot of time lost in this level, and I don't know whether I'm legitimately failing to use my noggin in some way. Should not be any reason to go out here. So I got a tome in that room that required the eye key. What? That's a secret. Okay. There's nothing in it. I must have gotten that before. I don't know. So I got the tome here. I have no idea why get on these. I forget if there was anything up here. Oh. You can hit that to put it back. Interesting. I think that's just a wall trigger. I really want to think there's a point to this or something. But I don't see one. I don't know. I'm running out of ideas. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's the same. Can't pick any of these up. They're just textures. Why would they just give you a tome? That's in there, which I can't get into. Because, like, I'm wondering if... If that's just a texture also, probably is. Or if it's another tome, probably isn't. 
If I can see it on the map, it's most likely a texture. I really want to think the manager's room is the next thing I need to figure out, and that the tome should get me there, but I may be on entirely the wrong path there. I may end up needing to look this up. Second map went pretty quick. First map took 40 minutes. I feel like we've probably been on this map for at least 20. Map screen here doesn't show you how much time you've spent on it. I really don't... Kind of seems weird that there's just a wall here. <clears throat> I really don't think there's a reason to go back out here, but... I don't think there's anything out here. We'd probably fight another gargoyle if we wanted to. sequence of things. I'm pretty sure the sequence of things was really hitting the switch first and going in there. Which gave us the eye key, which got us into the eye room. Which got us a tome that I don't know what to do with. And we need the moon key, we need the fire key. And I don't know where any of them are, or whether we need to use the tome first. And I still suspect this window of something. Apparently not. It would be interesting if there were a way from here into the manager's room, because the manager's room is over there, which would suggest there being something over here, or maybe with this, <coughs> maybe with this overturned book. I lay down, I'm supposed to blow this up. Didn't think so. Okay. I think it's time for me to freaking look up what I'm expected to do. Uh, really? Okay. Well, I was right to suspect the overturned bookshelf. Apparently. That's a switch. Yeah, so it looks like this side, except there's a freaking switch on it. And there is a way into the manager's office from here. And there's the fire key. How do you even hit this again? There we go. It's a lot of them. Oh shit. Okay, let's do that again. 
Dynamite not, might not be the best answer to that. Yeah, I would have never found this. I mean, it's on... I think I've looped through this room, but I've never... I don't know that I've necessarily ever come around here, and even if I did... Like... When you're this far away, you're not gonna see it. When you're running like this, unless you're looking for that switch, you're not gonna see it. This is like beyond Hexen level switch douchebaggery. I think I might have gotten one of them. Well, everybody's dead. There's my key. I don't actually know what the tome is for. Okay, so can that- is this door stuck from this side? Uh, it's stuck. Yeah, it actually is. How do I get out of here? There's gotta be another switch. Otherwise, I just soft lock myself on the save. Oh. Okay, cool. I don't care about that secret, but... There's gotta be a way to get out of here. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Did I seriously softlock myself? I don't see a way out of here without, like, I don't know, let me see. Push the button to get back out the way you came in. There's a button in here that I'm blind to right now. Oh, it's right next to it. All right, real talk. I feel like this is a little low contrast and this is a little low light. Like this entire place has been on the dark side. So I have been really bad at seeing switches in this. <laughs> All right, so we got this key, right? Yes, we did. I was expecting for it to be in a misleading place again. Oh shit. I can't believe that didn't hit me. Uh, what the fuck? He was literally kissing my boots. I really... I really, really dislike how fast and accurate these guys are. Alright, that works. Like, as soon as they see you, they hit you. You're just- you're taking damage. It looks gamma up to you? Huh. Yeah, I mean, I know they're hitscan. <laughs> they're just very aggressive hitscan, like, more so than enemies in Doom, let's say. Um, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I have brightness as low as it can go. Like, that would definitely look gamma up. I've intentionally had it down so that it wouldn't look washed out. Is this another tome that I can obtain? Or is this nothing? It's nothing. Mm, is that a serving suggestion? Suspicious of every damn corner here, but apparently, apparently there's nothing. Wait. The way that's drawn, it sure makes it look like that's possibly. Is there another switch hidden here? Hang on. Out there. It's 
level is suddenly basically Hexen in a nutshell. Look for switches everywhere. Okay, so it could have been downstairs too. Can't check this one already. Not check the size of bookshelves. Okay, let me go to back downstairs and check. Not seeing any switches. There's gotta be something. Because that has to open. The way this is pictured, that has to open. Also, I don't know what's up with the one that's, like, glowing. But that would be inside of there anyway. Yeah, th that doesn't do it. Also doesn't do anything. Wait. Ah, it's right there! Oh. That's not the part that I thought would open, but okay. Guard rat. Another guard rat. So, I can see through this, huh? Where are these rats coming from? What the? Okay, let me get the hell out of here. It's just like infinite rats, apparently. <clears throat> and also infinite these guys. I'm gonna die. There's still rats. Seriously, where did all these guys come from? I'm really glad he didn't shoot. I'd be dead. Okay. So, what did that give us? Yeah, I don't have any health. Oh, shit! No, this is not a good time for that. I never found the Tesla gun, did I? Nope. I didn't. Glad that didn't hurt me. Okay. Yeah, so I, I have found Tesla ammo, but I never found the Tesla gun. I'm gonna take that now so I don't forget. I don't think there's any other health around. Okay, so now we have the moon key and 19 health. We're probably gonna end up doing this over again. What the fuck? Oh, I just kicked something. Yep, hit scanners. <laughs> okay. Oh, jeez, I didn't save in here at all. Oh, where are you? Here we go. Ow. Okay, well, now we know what to do, so we don't have to waste five hours here. There's a switch here. And we just run the hell out. And then we get fucking murdered. I should freaking save. Okay, saving here. I should just get the hell out of here. 
I don't want to get down there. Doggo is still following me. Wait, no. Where'd he go? Oh, I know where there was some health, actually. Uh... It was in there, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna save. Okay, I'm almost dead. Let me get that health that I remembered. I gotta go down there. Uh, or there. Oh, hey, there was health in here. Okay, cool. I'll take it. We got armor, we got health. We got the end of the level. What a mess. 33 of 50. Um, I will assume that at least half of the remaining enemies are accounted for by the Tommy Gun Boys and the, uh, what do we call the dogs? I forgot what the, oh, Hellhounds, right. I was gonna call it Devil Dog. Sounds more edible. Um, Lost Monastery, okay. I also forgot to save at the end again, but that level was such a mess. <laughs> that whatever. <laughs> Oof. <clears throat> Suddenly vibraphone. Okay. I already like this map more because it's brighter. See, we got the strings again. And those are louder, so I'm gonna bump the music down again. Actually, also... Okay. I had my uh, OBS partially covered, so I couldn't actually see the audio balance. Holy Order of Carpathia. Okay. Yeah, that statue doesn't look evil at all. Perfectly normal statue. I don't need that right now. That's kind of neat. That is apparently not a door. Okay. Those screams are exactly how you feel right now. Oof. Slightly desynchronized screaming. And there's a hand there. That's a fire door. That's a moon door. That's a dead cultist. That's a med kit! stairs there, or there's whatever's in there. Okay, so they have... <laughs> they 
They have this in statue form, where it was just a static sprite that's always facing you, but they also have it in wall form, apparently. And that's not a door. That's probably a switch thing. Hang on. Alright, let's go the other way first, see if we end up finding anything. Ah, rats. Uh, that's not working. Actually, that should work. Voodoo doll, gasoline. I haven't found... I've got full ammo for the Tesla gun, and, and oh, well, I have no ammo for the napalm yet, but that's going to give me some. I have not found either of those weapons yet. So here's a switch. I'm guessing that opened the other door. Wait, what was that noise? I have a feeling it closes. Holy shit! Oh, well, it's open. I thought I actually had to race to get here. Uh... Oh, okay, that would send me right back to where the fire key and the moon key doors are. That's neat. I don't think it even registered to me that there could be something above them. Uh, there was health over here, wasn't there? Yeah, didn't even register to me to look up there and see that. That's kind of neat. Okay. Hi! Yeah, you guys should get out of here. No, don't go back in. That's a bad idea. There's nobody here. There's a zombie somewhere. I didn't kill that guy. Somehow, he withstood that dynamite. Oh, he's dead. Okay. More Tesla ammo that I don't need. Uh, doesn't doesn't require a key. Doesn't require a key. It looks like. Uh, okay. So ready for this entire. Half of a level, probably. Another med kit that I don't need right now. I say that. Oh, well, that's. That's why the med kit's there. Yep. Med kit that I don't need until I immediately need it. This, uh, this expansion clearly ups the ante on jerk doors. Like, I definitely recall seeing doors in this game that, like, close immediately after you enter them. But normally you can still open them. <laughs> this one is not like that. Actually, let me check something. Yeah, this one just totally locks. Okay. Oh, it's one of them. No, I need you to die. This guy I don't care about, he's not hit scan. Okay. Did we ever that's gotta be a switch. 
Come to think of it, did we ever figure out what that tome did? In the other stage? That had to have done something, right? I'm actually gonna look that up, because we're obviously not on that stage anymore. Uh... Mention it anywhere? <laughs> the uh, the wiki page mentions that for whatever reason, only three of the four secrets in the previous map are listed. Discovering all four leads to a listing of four out of three secrets. Didn't that happen to me? That happened to me in one of the maps in the official. But I well block in the in the base game, where I think it was secrets. It might have been kills, but I think it was secrets because it was like 18 out of 17. It was ridiculous. don't see anything about the tome. The, the walkthrough doesn't even mention it. Unless I'm reading this too fast, I'm not even seeing anything about it. There was definitely a tome that I picked up in that map. And I don't know that it even had a purpose. And it had me looking for a purpose for it for a while. Wow, for once I was faster than he was. Okay, actually, before I go up there, let me see if this is indeed a button. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Uh, did I pick up the other doctor's bag? No. But we can pick that up later. It's stuck. listed as a secret, apparently. Oh, it's stuck because all this crap's in front of it. Well, that's funny. This is probably an absolute waste of ammo. Yeah, that took ten shots. I should have take, like, taken, like, six shells. I purposely didn't do the, uh... I hear you. I purposely wasn't using the alt fire of that. Since I had a Kimbo. So now we have the Fire King. Did anything spawn down here? No. Right. Wait, oh, I actually have to get out via the roof. <laughs> right, because that door is closed. Alright, let's get out via the roof. Can I fall down the chimney? I can. I'm surprised that didn't hurt me, to be honest. Oh, is this this door? Okay, that's neat. Would have been great if it would have rewarded me with a Tesla gun. Okay, well now we need to go up the roof again. I didn't catch whether that counted as a secret. So yeah, I can still open that from this side. I don't know if that's... No, it always closes pretty fast, okay. Okay. 
What is the deal with this? That looks like something should open it. But I don't That certainly doesn't... Why is there... Why is that there? How do you even do that? Have I been up there? Oh, wait, yeah, maybe, well, maybe. That's probably here. Yeah, it is. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, so now I have this door. Key. I'm curious about something. Hang on. That had the same texture as this. No, nope, that didn't budge. Here's the friggin' Tommy Gunner. Up there hanging out in the moat. It's an invisible wall. Yeah, it does not want you out there. Sure looks like there could be something out there, though. Wait, there's totally stuff out there. How the There's got to be a legitimate way to get out there. But I'm possibly not meant to from here. It's interesting that they thought of that and didn't let you do that. That guy just went on a morning stroll. <laughs> I always like how when they get set on fire and they hit that critical point when they're laying down and they're just up again suddenly. It's like, take a hike, Folgers. We don't need you to get up in the morning. Just set them on fire. So, I kind of want to go back and see what happens if I go in the water here at various points, even though I'm sure nothing good will happen. I love how the sound echoes when you have the scuba gear on. Oh, come on. I can't hit the broadside of a barn here. There we go. I'm... I'm c constantly deactivating it so that it lasts longer, but it always reactivates automatically underwater. So I just have to do it every so often. Didn't even need to stay underwater for that. So that's it. Kinda seems like a raw deal. Okay. That kind of. Oh, that's just the shovel. Oh, 
Alright, now how do I get out of here? I actually don't know how to get out of here. Almost out of overheal. Oh. Would have been great if the actual napalm gun was in there. Whoops, well, there goes my overheal. Don't step in fire, apparently. What was the point of this entire area, though? This goes down here. And this dumps out here. Oh, I just ran out of scuba. So I actually need to be careful now. Another med kit. All right. Well, I suppose that scuba gear served its purpose, but they're. Oh hi. Where the heck did you guys come from? <laughs> they're like, I see you came out of the water. That's ours. You don't belong in it. Have I tried setting them on fire? They just die? I thought they were gonna have like a fire animation or something. Also... Oh, I thought this was where I was before, but it wasn't. Okay, well that's why I just got shot at a lot. Let me see something. This is where I was headed before. I'm gonna reload. Yeah, this is exactly where I was headed before, so... That's why the sharks were here. I mean, all I did was lose a ton of health with the stuff that I did before, so I might as well... Like, there might have been one or two secrets technically, but it didn't seem worth it, so... What happens if I go down here? Whoa, that's fascinating. but it'll work. I didn't even get to ask the question. I was going to ask the question of, if I set him on fire but he's in water, what happens? What? No, oh, hi. The answer is, he's still on fire. And of course that's a secret. There had to be a waterfall hiding a secret somewhere. That's where we came from. Uh, how do I get out of here again? Uh, there we go. So I guess I have to go this way. Oh shit. Oh, we're over here. There's a key over here. Oh, that didn't work. Alright, fine. Alright, 
one down. How are you not... He's just getting washed away. Okay, that, that works. <laughs> that was dysfunctional as heck. Okay. So, apparently I needed to come out here. I should have noticed that key from over there before. I didn't notice the key from over there before. Can I jump back over there? Uh, well, that would require jumping. Nope, it's an invisible wall both ways. I actually don't know if this game has the concept of a one-way wall. Can't think of any instances where it would have happened off the top of my head. Sure are some noises. I don't even need that. I guess I'll save here, but I don't need that. Does that count as a secret? No. We already got the secret by coming up here. Uh and this is gonna throw us back to where the key was. Which you can actually jump straight to, I was wondering about that. So okay, but Oh, where are we actually supposed to go? That's going to toss us back to where we lost all of our health last time. Great. did much better this time at not taking a ton of damage. And it seems like uh, two mini pizzas and a soda is a late night snack you're full now. How many are the mini pizzas? Because I feel like that might be... I would regret a, a late night snack that's that's uh, that large. Although on, on the subject of regrettably large meals um... I ordered something different. I wanted to try... I was I was curious about... Um, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, but... Uh, the Italian place near me, which does very good food, uh, has like a homemade gnocchi dish, dish and I tried that, and uh, it was a lot. Like, I maybe finished half of it. I mean, like, that that is a type of pasta that's like naturally very, very dense. So, <laughs> I would have regretted it if I tried to finish any more of it than I did. Oh, I don't want to go back here. At least, I don't think I want to go back here. Yeah, I want to go this way. Okay, and now we're here again. Which is fine. Because I killed these guys before. A little smaller than that. Okay. I think if I were going to do that as a late night snack, though, I'd have to stick to one. And I'd still... Mm, I guess it depends. Like, if it's not too, like... I think I would regret it if it had, like, a ton of garlic and I did it late at night or something. Although, on that note, there were apparently, like, entire garlic clove slices in the, uh, the thing that I ordered. The pasta I had. So, we'll see if I regret that anyway. So far, I'm not feeling it, so... Like, I don't know, sometimes I will randomly discover that certain things give me heartburn. But... I'm, I'm fine so far tonight.
I'm grinning like an idiot right now because this is Hexen. <laughs> this is totally Hexen. Okay, it's not quite Hexen. I think in Hexen you actually, like, shot at the Dell. I'm assuming that does something. Oh, yep, yeah, we got doggos. Uh... Okay, one down. Two down. Not too bad. Now, they came from here? So this must have opened. Well, the the most the the reason I mostly say one is like I would not want to eat too much late night. Oh, we found the exit. We also found duck noises. It kind of sounds like duck noises. Ah, uh, okay, and that's true. I have to remember that like you don't always. Like, you have trouble having, like, a normal sleep schedule, right? So it's kind of just, like, you sleep when, uh, your body decides to. So, in that case, I can definitely understand it. But then, like, I think I'd go ahead and call it a meal, not just a snack. <laughs> it sounds like it's serving that kind of purpose. It's just, yeah, you don't normally call something... You, yeah, late night snack is a, is a turn of phrase that we're all accustomed to, I suppose. What are we on now? We're on a boat! Why are we on a boat? <laughs> okay. Uh, this is 5-5, five five, right? I didn't pay attention to that part of the map. Yes, yeah, this, this is 5-5. Five five. And we got the Tesla cannon, finally. What does he say? Oh crap, I need to load from here. I couldn't hear that very well. I mean, especially if you're pulling, like, I don't know how many hours of a day you tend to be awake. But, like... I can certainly see, you know, at least four times a day if you're awake for... a long amount of hours. Okay, that worked. Why are... are we actually on an incline? Those bullets were sliding for a while. I don't have much ammo for that left. I should probably hold on to that. A ship with a fire in the middle of it. Seems fine. I'm getting tons of shotgun ammo. Depends on how much caffeine. Okay. Yeah, I don't normally, like, when I worked in an office, I would have coffee every morning because it was there and it was decent coffee. Um, I really don't make a habit of it at home. And I, I'm, I am the kind of person who spurns spending, you know, five bucks a morning on coffee. Not to mention, like, the lines around, like, Duncan and Starbucks are both just obscene. And I do not want to be part of that crowd. Spider door. Let's just make sure. I need a key. Yep, okay. Spider door. <clears throat> I mean, it's kind of funny because I used to work at a very big company that you could get coffee at various times of day and it didn't cost you. And then when I uh, switched jobs, at my new job, people would often go out for coffee in the afternoon, and I suddenly was in the... I was suddenly sucked into the social construct of spending five bucks during an afternoon for coffee, because people felt like getting it. Um, so I felt a little iffy about that, but uh, 
That kind of, I feel like that kind of went away after a while. Especially when we moved to a new building. We ended up on the 10th floor and their elevators are slow as hell. Um, and plus at that point we had the coffee in the office, so... It was like there was no reason to go out for it. Oh, jeez. What are you do- Why can't I hit you? <laughs> I'm gonna reload. Because that was a mess. Is that up here? Yeah. Okay, that went much better. <clears throat> you can sleep a full eight hours a night and be on the verge of passing out by lunchtime. Oh, yeah. I mean, there are times where I sleep ten hours and then I still feel like crap. I would like to sleep eight hours overnight tonight. It's what I wanted to do last night, but I think I slept something like four and then was up for three hours and then slept for three hours. That graphic looked kind of... misused. Like, it looks like they squished the graphic. Like, if they just did the insignia for the whole thing, that would have been fine. Doesn't count as a secret, either. Uh, I like the- I like the slots. <laughs> Instead of triple sevens, it's triple sixes. <laughs> that's- that's good. These actually work. I figured that would have taken some effort for them to get those to work. Oh shit. This is something bad. Yeah, there he is. Hang on. I did get some more ammo for that. So many hit scanners. Uh, where are you? Bunch of ammo for it. I missed. That's a little embarrassing. Okay. I've taken some hits, but I've got full health for now, so... Oh yeah, you know what we should test? Does this kill me? Yes, it does! Okay. Seawater is apparently deadly. You'd have to get 10 to 14 to stay up all day without caffeine. Wow. Uh, this guy doesn't even care. Rats all over me. The guy is just there. Well, that guy's already cooked. Ugh, I'm not that hungry. Uh, I guess I can go in there? Also... Oops, ow. Let's see if we can go in here. Oh, invisibility? Nice. Bad feeling about this. I'm down here. That was weird. Wait. I've already been down here. What the? Okay. Let's reload that so we don't waste the invisibility. Where's... Where's the ghost at? Oh, wait. I thought we got that. Oh, no, we got the Tesla gun at the beginning. Well, we've got Napalm now, too. So that's cool. Oh, that's a zombie. There's no place like home. 
Oops. Well, he's dead. Okay. Alright, well, we got health again. My armor is in a pretty bad place. Uh, and which key did we just get? Oh, we got the spider key. Okay. Uh, that should be right down here. Also a rat. Wait. Okay, no. This is even more slots. This is not the room I was in before. That was slightly confusing. I still want one of those machines to work. That's a med kit. That's an interesting place to lie down. Oops. I had a feeling I was gonna blow that full health again. Where's the rat? Jeez. That door doesn't do door things, okay. Both of those doors do not do anything. I sure could use a drink. Yeah, I need to restock on uh, on beverages sometime soon. I've been holding out my basically last ration of them for a time that I feel like I need it. But that's okay, I like to hold myself to not really using it too often. There's, switch, there's a switch next to this door. It's probably going to open both of them if I had to guess. Nope, only open the one. Oh. It's just wet outside again. Well, that guy's racking up a gazillion years of bad luck right now. That's not how you stare, Master. There's gotta be more of a point to being in this room. Oh, there's another switch. That must open the other door. Oh, well. Shit. Glad I got out of there in the nick of time. be another thing like the train where I have to blow it up. Ow, jeez. I didn't expect him to fit through there. Well, I guess I'll use this since the other one is out there. I have no armor. Oh, shit, I ran into that. Doggo noises. I don't like doggo noises. He can't hit me. That's not gonna... Uh, I have full ammo for this. Okay. I don't know if he even would have been a threat, but in case that thing could ever open, I wasn't gonna take the chance. haven't found his health. Oh, there's some there. That doesn't sound good. Oh, I 
already have the key. I think I could just get out of here. I'm a little curious... ...about this. Go figure, it's a secret. Wait, I got a life seed in there, didn't I? Alright, well, I guess I'm saving. How do I get out of here? Can't go through there. Which is weird, because... There's definitely... Wait. Yeah, there's definitely something through there. I just saved. I'm gonna look in here one more time. <clears throat> okay, no, there's nothing else in there. Uh. How did I get in here to begin with? I got a key. Didn't I? Yeah, I didn't have the skull key before. Oh yeah, didn't I drop down into here from somewhere? I feel like something has to open this. I don't know whether it's another doggo or something else. Where did I actually drop into here from? And why is... Why does this exist? It's a little suspicious. Wish I remembered how the hell I got in here. <laughs> oh, here's how I got in here. I seen the door that this key is for. I honestly don't remember. Okay, I can take that now. Bird noises. It's just where the spider door was. Hi, where'd you come from? Holy crap. It's half past midnight already. I guess I might want to consider stopping after this one. <clears throat> stopping after either this one or the next map would be... probably a decent idea anyway. Next map is the one with the secret exits. And depending on how much time it takes me to figure that out, it might be a better idea to not do that tonight. Hello. Have I not been in here? I've totally been in here. Either I missed those guys before because I was invisible, or they were new spawns. That's what requires the skull key. I forget if this door said I needed a key. It doesn't, doesn't indicate it outside. Oh, well. That was interesting. He just straight up exploded, rather than falling over and then getting up on fire. We have a decent chunk of ammo for the napalm gun. Let's see what's in here. Oh. Uh. Oh, 
There's your exit. Uh, it's stuck. Okay. Oh, that opens the exit door. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna actually remember to save this this time. We're not quite at the end yet, but... This does seem like a decent map to end off on, given... I really like this ship's theme here. Ow! I have no idea what just happened, but goodbye health. Let's try that again. everybody else this time. Uh, were they out there? They were probably out there. Probably have to go out there. That guy's not dead. Holy, what the... What? <laughs> wow. So first of all, he went flying backwards. Then he fell down the stairs back toward me and this other poor guy who's just like, what just happened? Actually, wait, wasn't this the guy who was failing at being the Stairmaster? He's not failing at being the Stairmaster anymore. Why does that work? That's very weird. Oh no, that's the, that's the failed Stairmaster. He's still there. <laughs> just <laughs> don't worry about it. Absolutely nothing wrong here. <laughs> wow. Okay, uh... Oh, hello. Now, where do I need to go again? Uh... Do I need to go back in here? I forget. Holy shit! Jeez. Okay. Uh... Am I even going in the right place? Oh, yeah, because it's down here. Okay. So that's why all those dudes were in there. <clears throat> running so fast he's multiplying, yeah. Running absolutely nowhere, though. I don't know why there's... Okay, there there is, like, a thin band of floor here, so that's why you don't fall down. That's not a good place for one of them. Uh, something just stole my window focus. That was cool. Right, let's reload that and not waste the napalm. Okay, he's coming up this time. That didn't even hit him. Okay, he's... Maybe it did. It hit him enough that he died. That guy was totally asleep at the helm. And that guy wasn't even hitting me, interestingly enough. Okay, that works. I wasn't sure if that would work. That looks like a door. Uh, yep, this is open now. You're going to need a bigger... Okay. That says danger. Hmm. Well... I'm waiting for those to, like, change or something, but they're not really. <clears throat> okay, what does that do? Ow. These guys are impossible to hit. When they duck. I have, like, no health now. So that's great. 
Let's try that and not nearly die. Okay. And there's the exit. We got the only secret in that level. If there's one thing I would say about that level, it probably could have used more secrets. I can't even remember what the one was now. Now we're in a graveyard. Before we were in the monastery thing, which looked like it could have been a graveyard. But now we're actually in the graveyard. Okay. Yeah, we will pick this up tomorrow. Graveyard seems like a good map to start off with on a night during October. So, let's do that. Let me... Stop my timer. Hang on. Did I get it? Okay, good. Um... Yeah. So... There were... Ugh. There were some conveyance slash... Hard to see switches... Issues... In, uh... Map 3 of this expansion. But now we're roughly halfway through it. So... I think we'll be able to finish this and move on to, um, post-mortem tomorrow. Uh, post-mortem will probably, <clears throat> probably easily bridge us into next weekend. Uh, but yeah, actually, come to think of it, we actually stand a good chance of well, that's the, the hope is finishing it next weekend, but, like, we might finish it next Saturday, even. So, like... On the one hand, I could start... Uh, Death Wish. But I feel like that would be weird, because, like... Like I said, I'm, I'm intending to... Fit in another game to 2020 Hindsight during October. Or start it during October. And... That would mean that if I started Death Wish, I would not finish Death Wish. So, um, kind of, I'm going to mull that over some more, because, like, I've been having this other one game in mind that isn't, like, that's not on the, like, I have the image for 2020 Hindsight, it's not on that, it's a surprise add-in, um, but it's also something that I really think I ought to play, because I've played many games that have been influenced by it, and I haven't ever actually played that game. So, I, I'm really kind of looking forward to that one, and Death Wish was something that just came to my attention, like, last weekend, so... I think I'm gonna have to, f have to find somewhere else to bring that in. Um, which, like... Not to say it's not good, because I'm, I imagine it must be very good for how heavily Dime suggested it. Um, but, I think I'm gonna have to stick to my guns on this one, and... figure out another time to introduce that. Um either during weeknights or maybe at the end of the year if I have extra time at the end of 2020 hindsight because like there may be some like bonus stream time at the end uh, assuming that I get through the remainder of the games that I know I want to get to through in November we may have some bonus time in December and I have some thoughts on that 